guys so i've just dropped amy back off at home and i've noticed that luke's over there i'm gonna go talk to him i need to find out what happened between him and maria the way he treated maria was appalling he has no right to see my kids i need to go and address this oi luke hello excuse me luke oh hello ryan what are you doing here well i just dropped my girl off amy i thought you had both of the girls at weekends i do but it's sunday today amelia and amy have daycare and school tomorrow i have to drop them back i always drop them back in the afternoons or just comes and picks them up oh i didn't realize it was so early i've only just finished work i was going to see jess for a bit you know we was going to have a little movie night well you can't now because my girls are back well now's as good as time as any for me to meet them i didn't realize they was back but if they are how about i go and see them if you think I'm going to let you anywhere near my girls, then you have another thing coming. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I don't think you should be getting anywhere near my kids. I've seen the way you were with Maria. She's told me all about what happened. I don't think you're ready to meet them yet. You can't really say that. You've only heard Maria's side of the story, Ryan. And I've got to be honest with you, I'm telling you as a mate here, Maria's a toxic person. It'd be best if you stayed clear from her. Excuse me, you don't have any right to tell me what to do in my relationship. Maria and I are happy. We're expecting a baby. It's important that we stay together for that child. Why are you saying this to me? Well, I could say the same thing to you, Ryan. You're telling me how to behave with Jess. That's none of your business either. I was just trying to say to you as a friend that Maria's toxic. Trust me, I've been in a relationship with her. I should know. I know, and you broke her heart. She hasn't been able to trust anyone for a long time until she found me. I can't believe you left her stand in there on the wedding day and never showed up. Who does that to a girl? You didn't even have the guts to be honest with her. You don't know what it's like with Maria. It's hard to say no to her. Jess has even said since you've been with her, she's noticed a change. Well, it's nothing to do with Jess, is it? And it's nothing to do with her. Why is she telling you these things? Because Jess and I are close now. We're in a relationship. We're confiding in each other, you know? I thought you was just doing a little bit of casual dating. We are, but... It's going well, and we have a lot in common with each other. Ryan, it's really none of your business what's going on between me and Jess. I was just trying to tell you as a friend the other day that Maria can be toxic. She isn't. She's not like that. She's just misunderstood. She's had quite a hard time in her life, and anyone can feel a bit emotional if they've been through a lot. I know, Ryan, but the thing is, a lot of the situations she brings on herself. She's a very dramatic over the smallest of things, blows things right out of proportion and always wants to move too far. Listen, I was only telling you as a friend to be aware, but if you don't want to listen, then that's up to you. You can't really say you're telling me as a friend, Luke, because we're not friends. The way you treated Maria was absolutely disgusting. She was literally petrified the other day when she saw you, and that wouldn't be over nothing. It could be, Ryan, because she's a drama queen. You'll find that out. She isn't a drama queen. She's just misunderstood. She was so upset... I was worried about her. It wasn't good for her stress levels. And because of that, I don't think you're safe to be around my kids. I will be telling Jess this. It isn't just up to you though, Ryan. It's also up to Jess. And Jess and I are taking things slowly, but eventually I do need to meet the kids. I'm not saying it has to be today. And of course, I will text Jess and double check that it's okay. I haven't even had time to do that because I came here straight from my shift. But I would never just go in and meet the girls without asking first. Well, there's no point you asking, Jess, because I'm the dad and I've already said you can't. But with all due respect, Ryan, it's more up to Jess than it is you because the kids live with her. Um, just because the girls don't live with me anymore doesn't mean I don't have the right to say, if I don't want you meeting them, then you don't get to. Well, I heard that Jess wasn't keen on meeting Mar them meeting Maria, but it still happened anyway. That's different. We bumped into her in boots. It couldn't be helped. She had Amy with her. How did I know that Jess was going to boots when we were... True, but you could have just kept walking or have pretended that Maria wasn't with you. Well, it's none of your business what happened back then, Luke, with all due respect. True, like it's none of your business why I'm standing outside the flats right now. I was going to message Jess first anyway, but if it's going to cause that much drama, I'll just go home. Well, I think that would be for the best because I don't consent to you meeting my girls yet. Well, like I said, it's not just up to you, but... I'll go home for today and I'll discuss it with Jess. But don't tell me I didn't warn you about Maria Ryan when it all goes pear-shaped, because I have. She's a one toxic woman and you need to be aware. Yeah, yeah, what? See you around.
that's it then just walk off oh, good luck goodbye luke